Hi guys, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, for all the usual people. I thought I'd do something a little bit different, and yes, you're looking at a boring box right now, but if you clicked on it, you obviously know what it is. Um, I thought I'd try something different uh, and share with you guys my other passion, which is uh, watches, and I thought this would be a good one to start on. So, without too much chatter, I'll uh, give you the bits and pieces here and there, but basically we're just doing an unboxing today on a Speedy Tuesday, uh, which is an Omega. Most of the guys that have clicked on it that aren't part of the channel will probably already know the watch. So, without further ado, let's get into it and have a look. So I picked this one up literally, no, actually came today, yeah, today. So you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it, basically. So normally all the Omegas, if you're buying them brand new, uh, even sometimes on the grey market, uh, they should come in this outer box. Um, this is the outer box that obviously the Omegas come in uh, when they get delivered. So we'll move that one to the side. And then you've got your, obviously, your protective box, which Omega basically puts on a lot of their watches, whether or not they're in the hard cases or not, so. Pretty cool. Um, not as crazy. If you are an Omega guy, you obviously know that this box isn't as crazy as what they normally come in. I mean, Omega makes some pretty awesome stuff for their limited edition sort of uh, watches. Um, this one's not as, say, flamboyant or as crazy as their normal stuff, but still uh, something to be appreciated. So, you dive into this guy, and they have basically a leather satchel or case, or however you want to say it. The box has all the books in it as well. Pretty basic stuff. Obviously, your typical Omega instruction book that comes with everything. It is thick really thick if you can see that it's probably about an inch and a bit thick worth of instructions your typical instruction manual as well to change your clasp with your spring bar tool and your certificate of authenticity so that basically just goes through and gives you a bit of rundown on what the watch is all about the material the case all the rest of it too so if you wanted to have a bit of a quick pause and a bit of a read on that that'll give you a bit of the uh, information on the watch itself i do like what amiga do with the special edition so in itself it's quite nice um but i am a big fan of like all their sort of harder wooden boxes um it's probably one of my favorite ones is um one of my the ultraman i um have as well and if you guys like this one by all means i'll uh, do the unboxing on the ultraman as well uh, which i do have like i said compared to their cases um it's still a nice packaging for this watch i think it's you know pretty adequate of um what they're sort of going for here i feel like the watch is a bit more of a vintage style to it so that's probably where they were going the leather is nice obviously in the back you've got your warranty cards which there's no point in showing you guys you all know it if you're amiga sort of people So we dive straight in, and you've got your mega seal on the opening of the case, which brings us to all the innards. And there's the beautiful watch itself, which we'll leave to a minute so we can go over it properly and in more detail. So we'll just put this one to the side for now. You get two straps. I'm not a big fan of anything NATO or leather, but I do like the watch itself. So Regardless, you do get your, your NATO style band and there's a white and black strap. It's never going to come out of the plastic for me, but each to their own. I think it is nicer than the leather though, so if I was to rock anything, it would probably be that one as my first choice. But I'm still a big fan of anything steel. I, I do like the steel bands. Typical Mega fashion, you do get their uh, spring bar tools. So they always do something different, well, for the models. So your spring bar tool, so you can basically remove the straps. If you open the back here, it comes with uh, two more spring bars for the strap or for spares. And this is basically made out of like a lightweight sort of uh, alloy. Still good quality though. That's what I like about Omega stuff. They do, do put a little bit of fun into all their limited edition sort of things. And then you get yourself a polishing cloth or with your hashtag Speedy Tuesday. Or your Instagram sort of people that like to take photos. Let's get into the watch. So as you can see, 
uh, still brand new I haven't taken anything off of it with your swing tag and everything as well so this one's even got the uh, screen protector on it at this stage. I don't know if I'm actually going to be wearing this watch or I'm just going to keep it for now. Um, yeah, what, all watch people are different. Some people like to wear it, some people like to hold them for a little bit, but that's each their own. I'll give you a few fun facts about this, not that I'm a Omega certified person, but I do know a few things about the watch. I mean, this one is obviously pretty matching to the 1978 Alaska 3, so that's basically where it's sort of um, come from um, or tribute to. Should I say? The nice thing about this watch too, and I think um, if you are going to wear it, is that it's actually brushed everywhere. So there's no actual polished case on this one. It's a complete brush case. So I feel like it's going to hide any sort of marks or use usage that you're going to basically have on the watch, which is quite cool. So I thought that was a little bit nicer. Another thing that I've sort of seen on these ones too is that they've gone with the uh, vintage Omega symbol. So just there... Underneath the 12 is your Amiga symbol, a vintage, and it's followed by the one on here as well, which is quite nice. I think it's just a nice touch to the watch. I think they're obviously going for that. Now, this one's like a reverse panda as well, so you're white on black, uh, whereas obviously, you know, the panda's the other way, where it's normally a white dial with your black inners. Now, for this, I am going to take off the plastic, which I don't normally do. Um, but seeing as we're showing you the watch, it's in good practice to show you it properly. I do like what they've done in typical fashion with that sort of domed crystal. Now this one's not actually a sapphire crystal, it's like a hesalite crystal. The hesalite basically, I know, uh, isn't as durable as your typical sapphire crystals. But what you tend to find with these ones is that they don't sort of have any sort of colour to them. They generally are a clear, a more of a cleaner crystal. Um, I think a lot of people will generally uh, agree with that. And that's probably the one thing, but supposedly I think the durability goes down, so... Look, the problem with crystal is that you can't polish it if you do get scratches, but another sort of win with this type of crystal is that it is a little bit cheaper to replace. You know, I guess that's where they've sort of gone with this watch. It's, you know, it's some, people are going to be wearing it, so I guess it's a plus. It's, it's, it's durable enough where it's going to take, you know, your light marks and scratches, but still cheap enough to be able to replace if you do damage it severely. So we're just going to cover up the number on the watch, as you do. But obviously on the back there you've got your, your anniversary and your tribute to the Alaska underneath my finger there. But as I said, everything on this, this finish is pretty much brushed, which is nice. And we're going to have to turn off the lights for this one. Another thing I love about this watch, um, and I love about, you know, a lot of watches is actually the loom. Um, and this one's a little bit different in the fact that get some UV on it for you. It's just super clear and they've gone that little extra step to actually make the smaller dials illuminate too and if you can see it it's actually quite amazing what they've done with it. I really really like it so even gone the step to do the Amiga and the Speedmaster Professional uh, in Loom as well. As you can imagine in the dark you're really going to be able to tell the time properly. Uh, with every single indicator luminescent. So yeah, that was just something different guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, I know there's a few watch people on my channel, so I thought, you know, something different will show you an uh, actual unboxing and the watch, because I was quite excited about getting it, so I thought, well, hey, why not share? Uh, by all means, if you guys got some questions and I can answer them, chuck them in the comments below. I've also got the Omega uh, Ultraman, which I'm quite happy about. I haven't actually gotten into that one just yet, but if you guys have enjoyed this one, I'll by all means, I'll chuck that unboxing up. And I think that one's just that little bit more special. I'll be happy to share if you guys want to see it. So just let me know. Like, share, and um, I appreciate the support on the channel. As always, thanks for watching.
Thank you.